Hi everybody, welcome to my home set and welcome to my channel. My name is Jared. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. So right now, there's a gigantic coronal hole in the sun. Uh, you can see it right here. And uh, it's in the shape of the United States. And I actually, uh, I pulled up Photoshop and did an overlay of the United States over this. And it, it matches pretty well. So we're going to look at that in just a second. And... Uh, and look at a few of my spreadsheets because I track these things. You know, how unprecedented is this? How big is this compared to others? Is there something special about this? Um, I'll share my thoughts. And then we're also going to talk about this recent uh, plane crash in Washington, D.C. According to this Associated Press article, the deadliest since 2001. There's been so much going on around Washington, D.C., like when it comes to these things that I track on my spreadsheets. So we're going to do a review of that. Um, okay. So I found out about this from Jessica with higher holier history. Uh, she was the first one that I interviewed in this second round of interviews for women that wanted to start YouTube channels. I'm no longer doing that anymore, by the way, I have a couple more people that I've committed to. So probably over the next couple months, you'll see that, but she was the first one. So make sure to subscribe to her. She lives uh, near Kirtland, Ohio. And I got to meet her when I went to go see the eclipse and go tour, do a tour of the temple. Uh, she sent me this article. So let's just read this really quick and then we'll look at Photoshop and I'll show you just how, how closely this sunspot re resembles the United States. Okay. This is space.com Aurora alert, gigantic five, 500,000 mile hole in the sun's atmosphere could spark impressive northern lights tonight and tomorrow. So I'm recording this on January 31st. So it would be January 31st as well as February 1st. Um, a massive 500,000 mile wide or 800,000 mile col or <laughs> 800, 800,000 kilometer coronal hole in the sun's atmosphere is unleashing a stream of fast moving solar wind toward Earth potentially supercharging auroras on January 31st and February 1st. So I think they updated the picture since I first pulled this up. So I think maybe this is what it looks like now, but they still have that original picture down here. Okay. Um, I checked the Aurora forecast and it doesn't, <clears throat> it doesn't seem like this is going to be like a, an event like we saw last year. Uh, well, two times last year in May and October, where the entire United States can see it. Uh, it looks like this is the peak right here. So it seems like it'll go down into, you know, uh, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, northern Nebraska, Iowa, Illinois. You know, you can see the map right here. So I don't think it's anything too out of the ordinary, but the size of it kind of is. Uh, We'll look at that when I look at my spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and go to Photoshop. So I just took the image, put it in Photoshop. And then, okay, so get a good look at it. You can see, you know, this looks like Florida down here. This looks like the Northeast. This looks like the Great Lakes. This part kind of looks like Minnesota or, or may, maybe Michigan. And then uh, even over here, like even though it's like, you know, kind of exaggerated. <laughs> this kind of looks like Alaska, even though it, Alaska doesn't like touch the, the continental United States. You know, it's, it's kind of roughly there, but let's look at this image. So take a look at that, you know, so Florida, even the uh, Gulf states here that are on the Gulf of America, by the way. <laughs> and uh, like I said, look at the Great Lakes like, look at this one right here, how it kind of goes in like this, like down into the, to the left or Southwest, I guess. Okay. So look at that. And then let me turn it off. It's like, it's uncanny to me. Of course, like this whole part, these Western States don't really match up, but I didn't bother to try and like match this to the curvature of the sun. Maybe if I did that, um, maybe it would. I don't know, but that's really something, isn't it? Here's, you know, I put Alaska up here like that even kind of is the shape of Alaska. Well, it kind of looks actually like 
uh, Portugal and Spain, but I don't know. Here's like a more transparent uh, version of it. So you can kind of see it a little bit better. So, <clears throat> you know, you do what you want. Uh, I'm not your dad, but I'm, <laughs> I'm taking this as a sign. The reason why is because um, over this last year, I feel like there's been a lot of United States specific signs, especially centered around Washington, D.C. and New York. Uh, this one <laughs> coming from the sun. Uh, I feel like something's kind of going on. So let me show you a little bit more about this coronal hall. It's not that it's it's never happened before. Um, in fact, it seems like these coronal holes... Uh, form, you know, every so often. So here's the one in 2025. Pay attention to these rows that have like this gray shading. I should probably change the color of that so it's easier to see. But uh, I, I added, so this is my spreadsheet called Signs Sun. And you can access my spreadsheets anytime. The link is in the description box of each video. So I added columns E and F. Uh, e for the size of the coronal hole in terms of um, the width of Earth. So this would be 62 Earths wide, and then the actual uh, size, you know, 500,000 miles wide and 800,000 kilometers wide, okay? So we got this one in 2025. Uh, we have this one in 2023. This one was 60 Earths wide compared to this one, which is 62. Uh, go back. We have one in March 2023, which was only 20 to 30 Earth's wide. Uh, these two, August 2022, November 2021. Oh, no, I'm sorry. June 2016. I cannot for the life of me find an article or anything that told me how, how large those were. So we just don't know. But there was this one in 2015, October 2015, and that one was 50. So out of the ones that I know about, that I have on my spreadsheet that we have measurements for, the one that's taking place right now is the largest. Uh, I haven't found any articles to say, saying anything like this is the largest of all time. You know, I may have to do some more research to figure out what was the largest coronal hole of all time. But I, I think it's notable. You know, I, I think it is. Um, so that's where we're at. I have this on my spreadsheet called Science Sun. I already said that. Uh, let's go over here so you can see some other ones. This one's this article is from December 5th, 2023. And uh, it's kind of om ominous looking over here. Here, Here's a better, a bigger video of it. It kind of, kind of looks like Lord of the Rings and the Eye of Sauron. That one is pretty freaky. So, you know, it's it's not that it hasn't happened before, but this one seems a little bit bigger, and it's in the shape of the United States. This one that we're looking at, when, when is this from? This is uh, 2016, you know, from Futurism. A huge hole in the sun. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, nothing. It doesn't seem like. Uh, maybe more intense auroras, like a little slot, like uh, marginally more intense auroras, but nothing to speak of. But yeah, I like to track this. So, okay. So we have that going on. A sunspot that in a very uncanny way <laughs> resembles the United States. Maybe a little bit of Canada. I don't know. I don't know how far you want to go with it. You know, may maybe this like Greenland up here <laughs> taking shape because Greenland's going to be part of the United States soon. I don't know. Um, okay. Just kidding. I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen. Okay. So, and then... I want to turn my attention to, or turn our attention to this, the plane crash. I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen this. This is big news, uh, deadliest since 2001. And this happened in the, in the Washington DC area, you know, on this spreadsheet called signs, United States in column E, uh, column E is for city. And you have all these ones that are DC. And I just, I have a ton of them. There's been a lot of things going on. In, uh, in and around Washington, D.C., especially since uh, January 2021. So, oh, by the way, with this spreadsheet for the sun, I, I, by no means am I saying that this is complete. 
Uh, there may be other coronal holes that I just don't know about. So it's not like this is like a scientific study, but I think it's good enough for our purposes just to get a general feel for what's going on with the sun. Okay, but the plane crash. Okay. A mid-air collision between an Army helicopter and an American Airlines flight from Kansas, of all places, that's where I live, if you didn't know, uh, near Wichita, killed all 67 people ab aboard the two aircraft. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, killed all 67 people aboard the two aircraft, officials said Thursday, as they scrutinized the actions of the military pilot after the country's deadliest av aviation dis disaster since 2001. That that's kind of interesting because, well, first of all, prayers for those that passed away for them, their loved ones. Um, it's just it's very sad. It's very sad, and it's interesting that you know this is the deadliest one since two thousand one. Uh, I don't know if that's in reference to what happened in two thousand one in September. Probably because I that would classify. I don't know if they would classify it as like. I don't know if like they're like terming disasters as like some kind of um, navigation error, like what happened here, or mechanical error. If that's like a separate category from what happened in two thousand one, I'd probably have to look into that further. But it's just kind of interesting, you know. This is calling our minds back to the year two thousand one. And uh, yeah, this was a flight that was coming from Wichita, Kansas. That's my nearest city. It's only we're only about an hour away from Wichita. I, I was just there earlier today. We were doing some uh, errands, went to Costco, and a couple other places. Um, got a transmission flush. So there's not a whole lot for me to say about this. Um, there's this article from New York Post: Supervisor let air traffic controller leave shift early before DC plane crash. So, you know, that may have had something to do with it, but, uh, because it kind of like stands out, um, this was a significant event and it happened around like pretty close to Washington, DC. I'm going to put on my, put it on my spreadsheet called signs United States. Uh, I'm, I'm also putting the Corona hole on here because it looks like the United States. Um, before this point, oops, let's fill in that cell. So before this point, you know, we go back just a little ways and, um, we had the day after the inauguration, uh, snow records were shattered in Louisiana, Alabama, Florida. So lots of heavy snow. There was like this big storm system. Uh, for us here in Kansas, it was snowing on inauguration day. And uh, Inauguration Day was the coldest in 40 years. So that takes us back to 1984. Um, or, well, 1985. But the election year of 1984. And uh, that's when President Nelson became president of the church. So it was held indoors because of the cold. Um, I'm just highlighting the, the Washington, D.C. signs that I have on here. We had these four lightning strikes on New Year's Eve which were all caught on camera. And that's the part that's unusual. Not that, that these things are hit by lightning, but that it was caught on camera in all these on the same day and on a significant day, New Year's Eve in Washington, DC, the U S Capitol building and Washington monument. And then in New York city, the one world trade center and empire state building. Um, you know, I'm not going to go through the rest of these. I've I've actually done this a lot lately, but you can pause and read this if you want, or you can just access my spreadsheets. The link is in the description box below. But it just seems like there's like this kind of like spike, this cluster of of things happening uh, in and around Washington D.C. Just unusual things. So I feel like something's going on. That's just me, though. Okay, that's going to be it for this one. So if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Also, make sure to share it, and I'll talk to you guys later.